Cool. So welcome, folks, to the follow-up uh, review of quick fixes to schedule. I believe we have a list of issues to review for 16.2 already. Thanks for everyone and their teams for helping out. And we want to align on what's going to be scheduled for 16.3. Jumping into the agenda right away, Mike said that we that we don't have the right product attendees, limited participation in this call, I agree. I think we need input from the product directors and group product managers and EMs as well. So we will be involving them to review async and collaborate, collaborating async in the Slack channel. Uh, any thoughts? Uh, Mike and I talked about this briefly today, but yeah, I agree and um, makes sense to involve them that way. Uh, I think we can go to point two. Christopher, you have the next item. Thank you for this. Yeah, I just did a quick scan of the spreadsheet and it looks like four issues got closed out. I included 16.1 issues, by the way, so I'm cheating a little bit, but there's two in 16.1, but hey, we fixed them. So I want to take, I want to take the win, right? Um, but there were 15 total. So we're pretty, we're pretty light still. Um, we're in the last week before the release. So this is usually when things happen magically, but unfortunately, uh, when I look through, there were only like a few that were actually assigned, honestly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and ping the EMs, but I really appreciate it. Justin, if you could deliver the mail to your peers, I appreciate it. If uh, we also ping the PMs as well uh, for these. Um, and if you need me to generate a list, I could probably do it because um, I had to do it for the EMs anyways. But the um, list is just based important. off the spreadsheet, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what's <laughs> interesting is some of these now say backlog or things like that, where they originally said like, 16.2. And my understanding was, is that like, you know, people actually went in and put, put in what they thought was feasible. So I'm kind of a little bit, I'm, I'm not, I'm not expecting this to be a hundred percent, not even necessarily 80%, but um, what is that? 33%, um, close to 33%, not even 33%. Feels a little bit light uh, from that perspective. Yeah. I mean, so uh, we should do, I mean, I'm happy to go do a review. I'm just skimming some of them. Like some of them, for example, like plan, plan operates in a pull model. So it was prioritized. And if an engineer doesn't pull it, then from the list, it's not going to happen. So that one we could encourage. Uh, first thing we got your number two. Yeah. yeah so one of them just, got moved to, a, one of them got moved to awaiting further demand. I see. Okay. Anyway, yes, I think each of them, my my rambling here is each of them are going to be a case by case basis. Why or why not? They're not done. We're not going to get done. And that's, you know, there may be good reasons. There may be like operational reasons, or there may be like, we just need to make sure it's in the right place. Would right. it be more productive to just nudge the ones that are scheduled for 16.2 explicitly? And then let's press yes. the team better that's, for 16.3. That's the okay. Sure. We can look. Um, yeah. Okay. So you know, in those conversations, we can say 16.3 is coming. So if they have yep. more on the list, right, you know, or yep. this is going to get reviewed again, like uh, that, Debbie did request us, maybe we meet in a week to talk about what's coming up. So for when be technically 16.3, be probably 16.4 uh, that we get in the planning cycle. Okay. Uh, yeah. In that case, then I want to point you all attention to three. In that list, the Roman numeral, the, the, the bullet list, there should be items that are um, marked at 16.2 explicitly, and they suggest we just nudge those lists that hasn't been closed yet. I think that's the best. Well, there you go. You summarized it. Okay. Yeah, so and you have it in more detail than I do. Um, thank you for doing that. I just didn't have time to quite get to that level. I appreciate Teamwork. It. Teamwork, one team. Um, cool. And then I want to vocalize support for Christopher's comment, too, that um, some teams, when they saw the list, they pulled into 16.1 right away. So let's count those as wins as well. I know. Joyce Flynn from Pipeline Execution did a, did a quick fix for quality in 16.1 when we reviewed three weeks ago. So if, if she's watching, Joyce Flynn, much appreciate it. Okay, so we align that. Let's um, let's notch the list in item three, the ones that already have already been um, scheduled for 16.2. And um, uh, hopefully we get more items closed out in 16.2. Yeah, and the one thing I would say is, is um, Justin, as you're tailoring that message, if they don't make it into 16.2, but they could schedule at the beginning of 16.3, 
or, you know, like I know that 16.3 starts in a week, but if they could say, oh, well, you know what, actually we'll do it in the, the week after. I, like, I, I think, I think we would consider that a, a positive. So like yeah, one thing yeah. we can do is if, if they're closed by the end of the month, as an example, uh, whether it's in 16 or 16.2 or 16.3, I don't, I don't know if I really care at this point. Uh, the thing I care about is just getting some, some momentum built yep. around it. Yep. We're aligned. Okay. Yeah. So like if they say, oh, well, we could do it the week after or whatever, but that's the next release and we'll do it whenever we get to it in the next release. How about you do it at the beginning of the next release? <laughs> like, you know, as opposed to wait until the end and a seven to come and find you, right? Kind of thing. It'll always anyway. be the last one to be yeah. picked. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't mind being a pain uh, in this regard. So it's part of the job right now. Yep. All right. Cool. Give it this out. Can you all check my notes? Is this correct? Yeah, thanks, Mac. Yep. Yeah. Wow. All right. Um, any other items in three? Okay. I think we, we should, let's move to four then. I think we should align on what we will be scheduling for 16.3. So to continue the momentum and the objectivity of this, my suggestion is to roll forward the one that the team has already put at 16.3 and does not change too much. Let's continue on that momentum and roll forward anything else that is not going to make it at 16.2. Yeah, I guess the one thing that I would love to see is probably from Lyle and UMAC is, uh, and probably, um, I forget what the other categories we had were. Um, uh, we had Clay support UX, is if there's anything that they want to add um, to the list. Mm. Uh, I think it might be worth, or, you know, if you, if you said, if you said you want to wait a month and do it next month, I'd be okay with that. Um, I, I think it's good hygiene to just get input from quality yeah. and, and UX early on when we populate this list going forward, right? So I I, I subscribe to that. Let's, let's go ahead and make sure the quality and UX and and sales. Uh, I think Tim from sales is our emerging as our champion. So I'll ping him on that one. Cool. Cool. And then I, I took a, a a brief look. I think we have we have six from support already for sixteen dot three. So live, you can double check that that list. Yeah. And we just continue these are, that. These are good. Awesome. Okay. Now, my intent in the long term would be to just to have support continually add to it, and we can prioritize each one which ones exist. It's always going to be significantly longer than we'll have time for. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then just want to say thank you to Create Code Review. Uh, they're committed to work on their the ones that we proposed earlier in 16.2. So we worked on 16.3 instead. So uh, looking forward to that contribution. All right, 20 minutes, <laughs> 20 minutes left. Any last minute thoughts? None for me. Okay. So what I'll do is I will commit to uploading this one filtered put a note as an update in the Slack channel, tag all of you. So everyone who didn't make this meeting knows what the next steps are. And, um, and let's touch the, the ones that can make it in 16 up to, and, and um, hopefully we can celebrate uh, some wins. All right, gents, thanks for the thanks time. Y See ya. Bye. Thanks, Bye.